welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be painting cabinets. Finally, these ones are laminate. They are like a brown wooden color and they're great cabinets, but the problem is is that it just doesn't go with the space. The kitchen doesn't get a ton of lighting, so we need a color that's gonna kind of reflect and bring light into the room. Also, they kind of chose a lot of brown, so like the cabinets are brown and the flooring is kind of this brownish color and the below cabinets are brown too. It feels a little too Dwight Schrute for me. The vacation room, very special room. Like design-wise. And kind of one of the downsides to the cabinets that they put in is that the countertops are granite and they are beautiful. There's a lot of shimmer in them, but you can't see any of that because the the cabinets and, and the countertops, just a lot of like brown going on that you don't really stop to notice, oh, hey, those are pretty countertops, which I don't like. So I want the granite to pop more. So we're gonna go with a lighter color. Let's get to it. Okay, so one of the first things I did was to make sure to remove all of the hardware off of the doors, just so I wouldn't get paint all over it. And then I went in with a simple degreaser just to make sure that the surface that I was painting on would actually adhere to the paint. If you leave like leftover grease and gunk, obviously the paint is not gonna stick, which means you're gonna have to sand it off or scrape it off and remove it and start all over again. And I was just trying to avoid more work than was necessary. And then naturally, I stop for a cup of tea. So at this point, now that everything's degreased and ready to go, I went in with the Kills 2 all-purpose primer and I just went ham. And then after that, I went to Benjamin Moore Paints. They had a pretty good selection of off-whites. We wanted to go for a cream color, didn't want anything too cold or too warm. Um, and they had a pretty good selection. So we landed on one called Bavarian Cream, took home a sample, tested it out, and really liked the color. So then we went to Lowe's and um, picked up some paint brushes and some painting materials. The Benjamin Moore just didn't have all the materials I needed. So I was like, well, we'll just go to Lowe's. So these are the things I used. I used paper to cover the surface, tape so I could label the doors, a pen to label said doors, uh, a drill to remove the hinges, doors, everything else, some sandpaper so that I could sand off any drips that might form after the paint dries, obviously the paint that I'm using, a screwdriver to open that paint, and a foam roller uh, to make sure that it's not, there's not a bunch of brush strokes and an actual soft, fine uh, corner brush. This is the paint I used, this uh, Benjamin Moore, it was in satin. So kind of what I mentioned earlier, I went ahead and I labeled my cabinets because I knew that this is gonna be kind of a little bit of a longer project to work on. And when I'm really tired by the end of it, I don't wanna have to play this jigsaw puzzle of like, which cabinet goes where. So I just labeled the inside of the cabinet as well as the actual cabinet. Then I threw books down on top of the painting paper and put the doors on top of it. I did this because when I painted it, I didn't want it to stick to the ground. Just an easier way of doing it. And naturally, as soon as I put everything down on the ground, the dogs felt the need uh, to get all over everything. Reggie, come on. Come on. Kirby. Kirby. So now this is with the doors lying all over the place. I kind of ran out of room and it looked uh, kind of like a pigsty for about a week or so, I'm not gonna lie. This is after I put down a couple of paints of the Benjamin Moore paint. So midway through the project, I ended up running out of Benjamin Moore paint, and it was honestly kind of a tragedy. 
Not because I ran out of paint, but because the coverage was ass, bro. It was ass. So instead of continuing the same frustrating story with this paint, I just decided I'm gonna go for what I know, and that's Valspar. I have been using Bare and Valspar paint for so many years over so many projects, and I've never had a problem with it. The coverage is great, it, it lasts, it's stain resistant depending on what sheen you get. And overall, it's just great. Bear is the house brand for Home Depot and Valspar is the house brand for Lowe's. So you could really choose either and not go wrong. Plus it's like a fraction of the price. I'm gonna do another video on the Benjamin Moore paint, whether or not I think it's worth the hype, um, what I may have done wrong and kind of everything that went into it. So yeah, I just had to interrupt this video for that little tidbit. That's hot. I was like, all right, this is as good as it's gonna get as far as Benjamin Moore is concerned. So I'm just gonna put these doors back on. And I'm not gonna lie, part of the way through, as I was like trying to put the hinges on, I realized that some of them were more tightened than others. So figuring out how to fine tune and make them fit properly was a little bit difficult. But I was also very happy that I had numbered and labeled the doors because that honestly would have been a nightmare otherwise, trying to figure that out on top of the pain in the ass that was these hinges. And then I went in over the fronts of the cabinets and I used Valspar paint at this point. And honestly, the process was moving so much quicker because I had to use significantly less paint than with the Benjamin Moore. So I was just ready for the project to be done at this point. If I had to do the project all over again, I definitely would have just done Valspar through and through and avoided all of that heartache with Benjamin Moore. But you know, it. You win some and you lose some. Thanks for watching guys. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please make sure to like and subscribe. Follow me along while I renovate my boyfriend's place so that I can move in. If you'd like to receive notifications for when I post new videos, just feel free to hit that little ding button. Bye.